Hey, how's it going there, everyone? Uh, thank you for checking out my video showcase of Ultra Staff Chat Pro. And this is a premium staff chatting plugin working on uh, versions 1.8 all the way up to 1.16. And what's really cool about this is it works on both Spigot as well as Bungie Cord, which is really helpful when you're running a Bungie Cord network. Uh, I'm just going to be showcasing this on my single Spigot server. So there are some more additional features I will not be showing in this just because I am not running Bungie Cord, but you can find all those on the documentation uh, that's going to be listed down in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out to see all the features that it does contain. So this is a staff chat plugin. So we can do a staff chat uh, and that will pretty much show you your uh, commands that you have. So you can uh, do a staff list which will show you whoever is online and then it will tell you you know what server if you are running budget cord but currently we're just on the spigot and tells how many staff members are online. And then we also have a uh, AFK so if you want to say AFK you know and then you can pretty much just toggle all that uh, on and off which is uh, pretty helpful. And then you can also uh, actually actually mute the staff chat uh, so if you don't want to see it uh, at all so you can go ahead and unmute it or mute it and so we're gonna keep it unmuted for now and then uh, I also really like where you can toggle it so this would pretty much just toggle it on so no matter what you say you can say like hi um, what's up staff team and so then I will go ahead and say that in the staff chat so you can pretty much toggle it on and off uh, this also does have a character uh, so you can use the hashtag or the pound symbol and then you can say hi uh, staff chat. So that will pretty much say whatever message that you have in the staff chat. And then uh, if you want to go ahead and just do SC and then you say like hi or something, that is also going to say it in the staff chat. So there's a lot of cool commands uh, that you can uh, toggle it on and off. You can just pretty much uh, say what you want to say. That's a lot of the commands that you can do in game and uh, chatting wise. But I'm going to show you guys how to set this up with your discord as well. Because that is uh, one of the really cool features about this and you can also have multiple channels as well so for example there's going to be a helper channel so we can do like hc and so this is what you can enable in the configurations uh, that will show you guys that in a second so we'll just say like hi or something and as you see this is the helper chat so all the helpers can chat in here if you wanted to have specific channels or you know admin channels or uh, moderator or manager channels you can totally set that up within this plugin as well which is pretty cool so i'm going to head and show you guys the config because there's there's a lot more features that you can customize within that, so let's go ahead and switch over. Here we are in the configurations for Ultra Staff Chat Pro, and so if you guys need a Minecraft host, be sure you check out Revive Node. You can use my code at Striker to save 15% off your purchases for three months. So make sure you guys go check that out and get your servers with Revive Node. So in here, um, a pretty self-explanatory config, and so here is if you want the prefix enabled. So you can set this to you know like an at symbol or a hashtag or pretty much anything else besides the slash. So here is where we're going to be setting up the discord configuration so i'll go ahead and set that to true now we need to go ahead and actually add this uh, specific uh, bot to our server so you can use the the true which is the bot or false equals the webhook so i'm gonna be doing the bot because i think that one looks a little bit better because then we can set you know the discord activity and then we can uh, mess around with uh, advertising it for our server so i think that would be a pretty cool feature so we can go ahead and go to the specific website so once you are at the advertising applications website you want to go and create a new application so I'm just gonna call this uh, staff chat okay so we'll go ahead and make that so once we have that general information now we can go to the bot and we can actually add a bot and we'll say yes let's do it and so here is my bot so now we need to copy this specific token that, that we have so here's the name and then you can customize you know what it has all right here and then we'll go ahead and just give it administrator permissions so I'm going to head and make sure we copy that token and then we're going to be pasting in the token right here pasting in that token right there and so on the activity is fine to be watching so then we can say like play.myserver.com or something right here and then now we need to get the discord guild number and so to get your guild id you want to go to your server just go ahead and right click and you're going to copy the id and so that is what you're going to be inputting into your guild id and so then we can go ahead and move on to the discord channel so now we can specify the channel that we want for the discord so so you can go ahead and right click and copy the ID for the specific channel so we can go ahead and paste that in right here and there we go so there is our discord uh, guild ID as well as our channel ID and then we should be good on that front so once you have
you have the bot made, we need to go ahead and invite it to our server, so you want to click on the scopes. So put in bot, and then we'll give it administrator permissions, and then we'll go ahead and just copy this. So pretty much just copy that whole URL, and that will pretty much be your invite to the server. So we're going to go ahead and invite it to my server right here. And so yes, we want it to connect. So let's go ahead and hit continue, and yeah, we'll give it the administrator permissions. So verify the captcha, and then uh, it will go ahead and invite it to our server. So as you see, here is the Snapchat bot right here. So it has that specific role that we made, and so that is looking good. So go ahead and save that, and then I'm going to restart my server. So once you have restarted your server, your bot should become online, and it should go ahead and send a message to your staff channel that you set in the config, and that is working properly because we just joined the server, and it gave us the little uh, plus soul striker, which is awesome. So it is working properly. Really cool feature that you can have this, and then you can communicate uh, with the staff chat plugin via Discord and game. So if you go ahead and actually uh, send a message right now, so be like, hey, uh, striker, uh, what's up, man? So we'll go ahead and say that as you see in Minecraft chat it does say that in our specific staff chat channel which is so cool guys and then if we go ahead and say the message back be like hey man uh, hacker alert so we'll go ahead and say that and as you see it does translate over here to the discord which is so cool guys that's amazing I love that feature that is a pretty sweet so uh, you can pretty much say anything in this uh, staff chat channel and be like hey man uh, how is your date all right so then we can say that and then it will also pop up in here and we'll just say a good man all right so you know we are talking to ourselves right here but anyways guys that is how you set up your staff chat bot which is pretty sweet not gonna lie i really like that so hope you guys did enjoy this video i will see you guys in the next one have a good one peace out